I can tell that this is a divisibility question because they're asking which of the following is not a factor of some number. The problem is that the number itself is not obvious. They're, they're giving us an expression, right? Three to the power of eight minus two to the power of eight. But what is that number? How am I supposed to factor down, right? Create a, a factor tree or find the prime box of three to the power of eight minus two to the power of eight. The only way that I can think of to do this in a GMAT appropriate amount of time is to recognize the difference of squares. Okay, three to the power of eight, that's just three to the power of four squared. And two to the power of eight, well, that's just two to the power of four squared. And the difference of squares, of course, has a very important special product, which is a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So in this case, we have 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 4. And of course, 3 to the power of 4 is, well, it's just 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, so 9 times 9, so 81. And 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, so 16. And so the number that we're trying to find the prime factors for is 81 minus 16 times 81 plus 16. So that's just 65 times 97. Now I do see 65 and 97 in the answer choices. I'll go ahead and eliminate those because the question wanted to know which of the following is not a factor of this number. And 65, of course, is not a prime number. It breaks down to 5 times what? Uh, well, there's 10 fives in 50 plus another 3 fives in 15, so a total of 13 fives. Let's go ahead and eliminate the answer choices 13 and 5 and go ahead and pick the only answer choice left standing and move on to the next question. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.